Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Reeby, Principal of Vanderveer Elementary School. And I'm Dr. Tian, Superintendent of Schools. We are so excited to welcome everyone to our Vanderveer Evening Learning Academy. You are all in for weeks and weeks of enjoyment. Our academy will run on Tuesdays and Thursdays, starting on Tuesday, February 23rd, and will end on May 6th. Kindergarten to first grade lessons will start at 5 o'clock p.m. Second and third grade lessons will begin at 5.30 p.m. And our fourth and fifth grade lessons will launch at 6 o'clock p.m. every Tuesday and Thursday evening. Don't worry if you miss a lesson. There is a Bella, spelled B-E-L-A, 2021 link on the Vanderveer website, which will bring you to an archive of every video, which will be available to enjoy over and over again. The library will keep growing each week as new videos are in. You will be learning alongside your very own Vanderveer teachers. Also, we have teachers and administrators from across the district that will be bringing you fun learning experiences. You will become scientists, engineers, mathematicians, writers, world explorers, and learn to communicate in different languages as you explore concepts in math, reading, writing, science, social studies, world language, and so many more. Thank you so much for joining us tonight, and we encourage you to visit often and view other lessons in our learning library as we add to the videos each week. Enjoy! Enjoy. Hi there, I'm Mrs. Mack. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Vanderveer and I am excited to talk to you all about ways to be kind. How to be kind to yourself and how to be kind to everyone around you. Maybe you already know some ways and you'll be tapping back into those things, thinking about, hmm, I've done that before. I should do that some more. And you'll get some new ideas for ways that you can be kind to other people. I also really want you to think about how you can be kind to yourself. Let's take a closer look. What are some ways that we can be kind to ourselves? I wanna take a look at this with you. Give this some thought. I know that it's something that we don't always think about, how to be kind to ourselves. I know that it's important for us to be kind to other people. We know ways to do that, but what about ourselves? We deserve some love too, right? Let's give it some thought. Let's see what we've got here. Love yourself. Yes, love yourself. I know you have people in your life who you love, your family, your friends. I bet there are some people who are really special to you. Well, guess what? You are the most special person ever. Think about how special you are. Think about what you love about yourself. I'd like you to think of a few ways that you love yourself. What is it about who you are that makes you special? I would like you to pause, give it some thought, and you can go ahead and type this in on your copy of the slides. What did you come up with? Do you give really good hugs? Maybe you forgot about that one. Do you know how to make other people laugh? Think about what it is that you love about yourself. You can add some more. How about this? Focus on your talents. Everybody has something they're good at. I bet you have lots of things you're good at. Sometimes we don't give ourselves enough credit. Take a look here. I want you to think about what you are good at. Are you good at playing soccer? Are you good at baking cookies? Are you good at 
taking care of a younger brother or sister? Maybe you're an artist. Is there something creative you're good at? Hmm. Maybe you're a great reader or a writer. Think about what your talents are, and I'd like you to go ahead and place them onto this slide. You can go ahead and pause and then come back when you're done. Next, we're going to think positive about ourselves. I want you to think about your character traits. Yes, you've learned about them in school, but what about you? Character traits aren't just for people in books and characters in books and movies. They're for us too. And you have some excellent character traits. Look at all these positive character traits. So many of them describe you. Take a look. Are you kind? You're getting there at least. Are you enthusiastic? Are you excited about things? Take a look at this list. Are you intelligent? Yes, you are. Take a look at this list. If you need help from somebody at home, that's fine. Some of these words might be a little bit tricky, but I bet you can find some that describe you and you should get them on your list. So take a look here. What words describe me? There are five spaces here on this slide, but you can click after the five and hit enter and it'll give you more spaces. You can make the font smaller so you can fit tons of words that describe you in a positive way. Go ahead and give it a try. When you're done with that, come on back. Here's what's next. Prioritize. Think about what's important to you or who is important to you. Take a look over here. What's important to me? Hmm, maybe it's the people in your life. Who is important to you? Do you have a brother or a sister? Maybe a cousin. Do you have some friends that you really care about? or one really special friend. Now also think about what's important to you. Hmm. It's not necessarily things like video games and toys. Some of those things might seem important to us, but think about what makes your life really great. What are some things that you're thankful for? Go ahead and give it some thought and jot them down here. Let's see what's up next. Be happy. By being happy, you're being kind to yourself. What a great thought. I'm wearing a be kind shirt right now and I've got to tell you, I've got a whole collection of them because I like to be reminded to be kind to myself and to others. Think about it. What makes you happy? What makes you smile? Hmm. Is there something that makes you happy when somebody treats you a certain way? When somebody gives you a compliment or makes you feel extra special? Think about that. You can add to your list here. Pause and come back when you're done. And then we'll see what's next. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is something that I thought would be super fun. You can make a slide all about you, about what makes you special. You can click in each section and there is a text box. So inside this text box, There's one going like this. I am smart. I am hilarious. I am great at soccer. I am fun to be around. There are some little ones over here too. 
So maybe you have a word that describes you that is a little smaller that fits into some of those places. You can fill these in. By the way, soccer is not my best skill, but maybe it's yours and you could have it there. I'd like you to go back through the previous slides where you gathered all that great information about yourself and make this slide for just you. If you have a printer at home, you can print this and color it in. How awesome is that? There's another version of this same slide right here, all about me. If you would like to make that one instead or make two, it's up to you. There are lots of spaces here. So in each space, there is a place for you to type. You can change the font. You can make it all your own. Have some fun with it. You can even put your name in here instead of saying me. You could put your name. How about that? So I'd like you to take some time to make this just for you. It's a gift for yourself. Be kind to yourself. And how happy will that make you? Very. There are more ways to be kind to yourself. Look at this. Get creative. Draw, paint, color, or make something fun. Try something new, a new activity, a new game or sport, or a new food. Spend time with people you love. It's not so easy right now if you can't comfortably get together with people, but there are ways that you can communicate with others, right? We're going to take a look at some of those in the next slides. Run around, dance, act silly, and laugh. Give yourself permission to just be a kid and be silly. After all, you're only a kid once. Go for it. Have some fun. Be grateful for what you have. Think about all the wonderful things in your life. Take good care of your body. Eat some good foods. Drink lots and lots of water. It's so good for you. Remind yourself of your good qualities. Believe in yourself. Yeah. Know that you can do things. You can. You're amazing. Listen to your favorite music. Keep a journal. Sometimes people love to write. You can even make a journal online. Make yourself a Google Doc. Start there. Read a book that you love. Maybe reread a book that you know you love or find a series of books and read the next one. I know that reading might not be everyone's favorite, but once you find the kind of book you love, you will love to read. I promise you, it's true. And be kind to others and see how happy that makes you too. It's true. By being kind to others, you're also being kind to yourself because it makes your heart feel so full. Let's see what's up next. What are some ways to be kind to others? Smile or wave. It's as simple as that, right? That's kindness. Sometimes if we're wearing a mask, somebody might not see our smile, so we might have to go with a wave. Say hello. If you're walking past someone, you can give them a little wave and say hello. I can't tell you how much that brightens my day. Give a compliment. I've noticed that when I compliment someone, it makes them so happy. And when I receive a compliment, it warms my heart and it makes me so happy. Send a message. It could be on a phone. It could be an email. Think about a way that you can communicate with somebody. Send them a positive message, even if it's just a quick hello or something more than that. Maybe you want to tell them something great that's going on in your life, include them on something, or maybe you want to send them a compliment. How about that? Write a note. Write a note. It's so nice to receive something that's written, and you can keep it forever if you want to. 
I love to receive notes. I have a whole stack of them. I have a whole stash. Notes from my students and notes from other people in my life. It's so important to let people know you're thinking of them. And a note is such a nice way to do that. You can even make them a card. Yeah. You could get some paper, some markers, draw them something. I've got to tell you, you know what's one thing that always makes a lot of people happy? Bubble letters. That's right. Writing bubble letters. Make them something. It doesn't even have to cost you anything. If you just have a pencil and some paper or maybe a couple crayons or markers, I bet you can think of something nice that you could make somebody and make their day. Give somebody a call on the phone. I always feel good when I get a phone call and when I make a phone call. So give it a try. Be a good listener. That is like a gift to another person. Being a good listener means so much. It's not just a skill you learn in school and you have to be quiet. It's about listening and thinking about what someone is saying to you and speaking to them back about it and having a conversation. Being a good listener. It's something that we need to work on sometimes. Sometimes we only listen so that we can have a response. But if you're a really good listener, people know it and it makes their hearts so happy. We all need somebody to listen to us sometimes. Here's another way that you can be kind to someone. Clean up. That's right, clean up. Now I bet some of you are already really good at this one and you're probably already super helpful at home. But some of you maybe could find ways to help clean up at home. Even though you clean up one time doesn't mean a mess might not come back. There are lots of things you can do. You can clean up your own room. You can make your bed. You can clean up from dinner. You could wash some dishes. Lots of things you can do to clean up. Clean up the toys. Clean up the clothes. Don't leave those socks on the floor. Clean up. That is such a kind thing to do. Let's check out another one. Help. You can help someone. You can help people you know. And sometimes there are ways that we can even help people we don't know just by doing something simple, holding a door open, things like that. We've heard about that for years, ways to be helpful. But you can be helpful at home. If you have a younger brother or sister, maybe you can help around the house with them. Maybe you can make them happy, make them laugh while somebody else is taking care of lots of other things. Maybe you can do something to make somebody smile. There are lots of ways you can help. This is going to take some thought. Think about ways to help around at home. Maybe you can even help at school. Lots of things you can do to be helpful. I bet you'll think of some great ones. Let's see what's next. Cheer them on. Cheer them on. Encourage somebody. If they're having a rough day, tell them to keep on going. Give them a smile. Tell them what it is that's so great about them that you know you can encourage them to get something done. If somebody's sad, you can make them happy. If it's somebody at home, you could give them a hug. Something as simple as that can make somebody's day and it can be really kind. So think about ways that you can encourage somebody. That means that you are showing them that you believe in them, that you know they can do it, that they are doing their best and that they should keep on going. That's how you cheer somebody on. And in the process, you might even cheer them up. Forgive 
sometimes people make mistakes and they might need you to forgive them. Think about ways that you can do that sometimes. Maybe you even need to say you're sorry to somebody. Maybe you need to do that and maybe they can forgive you and that's something kind that they could do for you. Invite. Invite somebody to join you. Maybe you can't invite them to your home, but you can invite them to play with you. Sometimes kids find ways to do that when they're, when they're on computers. They might have games they play. Maybe you play Minecraft or Roblox, and you can meet up with a friend that way. Maybe, you, maybe you're at school. And there's a way that you can have somebody join your group. Maybe it's remotely. Maybe it's in a breakout room in a Google Meet. But there are ways that we can figure that out. Sometimes these days we need to be a little more creative about inviting people and including them. But you always want everybody to feel special just like you want to feel special. Teach a person something. Teach them a skill. As a teacher, I get to feel that good feeling all the time. It's really kind if you can include somebody in something that you are good at. Maybe you know how to make really good cupcakes and you can teach them that. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Maybe you know how to kick a soccer ball. Maybe you know how to score a goal. Maybe you know how to play a video game. There are lots of things that you know how to do. We've already talked about that. You can share your skills with someone else. Help them out. Teach them something that you're good at. You know you can do it. Read to them. That's right. People love it when you read to them. I know that my students really like it when I read to them. And I know it makes me feel good too. So you can read to somebody. You can even read to your pet. They love to spend time with you. Sure, you can be kind to a pet, right? You can even be kind to your stuffed animals if you want to. It's good practice. Work together. Get together, work on something together. Be partners. If it's somebody at home, work together. Try to Conquer some goal. Set a goal and make it happen. Maybe it's putting a puzzle together. That's fun. Maybe you're playing a game. Maybe you're working on teams. Think about ways where you can work together with someone else. It's a really kind thing to do. Show your appreciation. Say thank you. Show somebody how much you care and that you uh, appreciate everything that they do for you, okay? Sometimes we don't always take the time to do that. We think, oh, they know how I feel. Sometimes we need to tell them. Even if they might know, it sure feels good to hear it. Here's a slide for you. You can make your own Slide showing many different ways you can be kind if you'd like to. It has all those text boxes just like we had earlier. And here's one you can make for someone else. Can you imagine that? If you snuck and you made one for a friend, that would be so much fun for them to get from you. If you made one for a grown up in your life, or a teacher. That would be amazing. Oh my goodness, that would make my day. So think about ways that you can be kind to others. I love all these thoughts and I hope that you do too. And then besides making these slides, you could do something on a big poster. You could make something that looks like this but use a ruler to make your lines and you could draw a big cloud and you could make bubble letters. You could do all kinds of things that make somebody happy. And while you're doing it, I bet it fills your heart up too. So 
Remember, kindness matters. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.